Yo, we right here, live yeah. and direct with Terry Watt, aka DJ Dink. Yep, yep, yep. And look here, it goes without saying you are a KC legend. So when did the legend start? Ooh, started DJing in 1990. What? So this is my 30 year anniversary this year. Congratulations, yeah, thank congratulations. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Very good. Uh, started in, uh, actually this is how the story went was, I used to make cassettes in high school, okay. you know, but I was only making the slow stuff, you know, because I thought I was a ladies' man back then, you know, I was sure. making right. for the lovers, you know. I understand. So uh, I started doing that, but I was starting to sell them, you know, right. people started liking them and stuff, so I started selling them, you know. What year was that when you was making them? Ooh, I think I started making, ooh, was this before I started rapping? <laughs> oh boy, a rap career as well? Yeah, but actually it was during the same period, it was during the 80s, so I would say I started about 85. Okay. Um, making cassettes. Started rapping in like '86. Okay. Did you have a rap name? Yes, I did. Okay. It was, uh, it was Master T of the Master MCs. <laughs> oh. We forever hold it down for making our own song, put it in the yearbook, rock for sale, class of '87. Beautiful. Yes, 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 yes. You, you, uh, you care to kick any rhyme from there? We'll say that for the because <laughs> We're going to make the memory work. Man, I'd have to go back and then look that up. You no know. problem. We'll stick but it's in the that. yearbook. So, gotcha. I, you know, so it's in the yearbook. So, you know, I know it, it's official. Okay, you know? cool, yeah, cool, yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. We'll stick to the DJ part. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> DJ Dink. What's up, man? What's up, what's up, V? Hey, man. Uh, you're good at what you do. So I know you got to mm -hmm. love it. So we want to find out it. why do you love DJ so much. <sighs> Man, where do I begin with it? Uh, for me, I would say, besides the music itself, mm -hmm. uh, it's the movement of people, uh, the reaction they get when you when you play their song. You know, it's it's the emotion that you bring out of them. They could be having a bad day. Mm -hmm. They come out to hear you play. You know, at first they act like they probably really wasn't into it. Like, nah, I ain't right. knowing. He's wet, da 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 da. You know, next thing you know, it's like, oh, he just keeps on playing. He just ain't gonna let me get, he ain't gonna let me have this bad day. But just to see the just the reaction from people, um, the response you get when you play it, and, and they just, the crowd goes wild, and it's like, ah, and people just start climbing out on tables and just having a good time, man. And, and just for me to give them that, you know, even for those few hours, that's, that's very, very key for me. That's very, very key. DJ Dink, mm -hmm. what's going on, man? Slow motion, slow motion. That's a good way to go. Yes, sir. So with that, your love for music, mm -hmm. do you remember your first record? Wow. Wow. Oh, man. I remember taking a lot of albums <laughs> okay. from, from my sisters. Because I, I, I basically you I grew up you on come, it. Right, yeah, I basically deer. grew up on it. Right. You know, You're getting. Quiet. Uh, on Sundays, you know, my sister's got the stack of 45s right. on there. You know, that's telling my age. Right. Okay. You know, got to clean up on Sundays <laughs> after church. So the stack of 45s went on there, dropped one at a time. So uh, that's when I really got into music for real, for real, because I grew up on it. Right. Uh, then uh, got into, when I got into the DJ and I still, you know, I took all the old albums, the old Parliaments, the old uh, Sugar Hill Gang albums, you know, the Eighth Wonder, you know, all that. So um, I had all their 12 inches. Right. So my brother, you know, he collected a lot of music, reel to reel. So he took all his albums and put them on reel to reel. Right. Well, then I just borrowed, acquired, acquired <laughs> yes. uh, his collection right. as he moved on, and you know. And so um, yeah, but I believe that first one that I think I loved the most was. Don't tell nobody this, okay. y'all. This is a, yes, this is between me and y'all. Okay. Exclusive. Exclusive. Rap. Blowfly rapper. Uh -oh. oh man, I'm uh -oh. telling my age. I'm telling my age. Uh oh. This Blow is Blowfly the rapper class. <laughs> I'm here about to suck some soul into it. Anyway, we're gonna bleep that out. You just Google it, Google it for okay. those who don't know about it. Well, by Blowfly, one of the you. first rap records ever created. So yeah, yeah, that's where it is. <clears throat> DJ Dink. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. He's in the house with D and E. Mm -hmm. uh, we wanna find out, man. Uh, you got a long history, 30 years. 30 years. Uh, what's the future gonna be? Ooh, the future is, oh man, I don't know if I could ever stop DJing, man. I just I, I just don't know. I've been doing this for so long and the love for it is so strong. I don't know if I could stop ever doing it. Gotcha. Uh, but to have my own venue to do it at. 
That way I can kind of set the pace in the course of it. Of right. course, you know, I wouldn't need it every night no more because then I'd be running the place. Yeah, that's true. Uh, but to have my own spot, my own, my own spot, um, that's what I want to do with it and just kind of bring others along. Uh, I've been bringing along a few. I'm working with a guy now. He, yeah, I'll probably be going to, he's going to, you're going to be interviewing him soon. DJ lost one. I'm bringing him along now. Okay. And, you know, so, um, so then I can just move on to my new section, you know, gotcha. uh, of DJing. But I'm always still going to be DJing. Yeah. Just hopefully I have my own spot working on it, you know, putting some things together. So hopefully I can get my own location, and, you know, and keep on doing it. Sounds good. What about uh, contact information? Contact. Okay, yes. where do we begin? Okay. Facebook, of course, DJ Dink KC. Okay. Twitter, DJ Dink KC69. Also, that's Periscope as well. Uh, IG is also it's DJ Dink KC. So, uh, and my email address is DJ Dink KC. Of course, everything's DJ Dink KC. Sounds good. Easy uh, to contact. Easy, 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 okay. easy peasy. Okay. Uh, DJ Dink KC at gmail.com. So, send, make sure you send all your all this information and stuff like that. Send your music to that one. You know, that's the one I check the most. Okay. Uh, yeah, it's a shameless plug. DJ the Entertainment. People ask why. And uh, I'm reminded of the story that my uncle told me. Is you see how nice the top of that building looks? I was like, yeah. He said, but without the foundation, you wouldn't be able to enjoy that. And so that's what I say. Hollywood is only so small. They cannot contain all the wonderful, talented people. And the people who have, quote unquote, made it there, they didn't get there on their own. They had a foundation. And that's what DJs and entertainment is about, is talking to those foundational people. DJs, those dancers, those musicians, club owners, promoters, songwriters, compilation artists, whatever it was, those people deserve a voice. And the reason why, because like me, they love it. It's in their heart. I'm reminded of one of the folks I did interview, uh, DJ Rockin' Ronnie. <laughs> DJ Rice, as we all know. But uh, he epically said, you know, for him, hip hop was like his first kiss. You never forget it. And once you do, you, you want to repeat it over and over and over again. That's why I'm here. Because I love it. It's in my heart. And so with that, uh, I ask for your subscription. Please subscribe. Please like it. Please share it. I, I really need that because I've been at it for a while and I still got a whole lot of things. For entertainers, y'all know exactly what I'm talking about. Sometimes you wake up at night and you can't go back to sleep because it's just, it's, it's why your heart's beating. Damn. So DJs and Entertainment, Vincent Irving, AKA DJB on YouTube. subscribe the admirable DJ started at the Chateau Lounge mm -hmm. in 1990 but uh, you've been at it for 30 years celebrating this year yes, so yes, I yes. know you have favorite events probably throughout the decades but we need at least two or three of your favorites two or three of my favorites let's, let's see uh, let's go. I'm gonna go with the most current one uh, okay. that I did last year at the Sprint Center, opening up for Goody Mob and Erica Badu. I think that was dope with the Dungeon Family. Okay. Uh, that was real dope because I thought it was about ten thousand to about fifteen thousand people. So that's yeah. that's dope. That's dope for the Sprint Center. Right. Um, I didn't get to meet Erica though, but that's okay. cool. No, that's okay. <laughs> but I kicked it with uh, with Goody, Goody Mob. So yeah, so that was that's all right. That's that's notable. Um, I would go with. Uh, Another one would be uh, about two years ago, I'm gonna say, at uh, Voodoo, okay. opening up for Too Short. That was dope, that was real dope. Yeah, they, that sold out, so that was real dope too. Nice. Um, and I think one, another one that's real memorable, just to use three, mm -hmm. uh, really wasn't a large turnout, but at the Amer store opened up and met uh, Grandmaster D uh, from Houdini wow. for the first time. It opened up to him, and that for me, that was really one of my most phenomenal performances. Right. Even though it wasn't a lot of people, but for those people who was there and saw it mm -hmm. uh, and enjoyed it, they they really enjoyed that a lot. So I would say them three that just jumped right out at me. Oh, 
All right, we're here with DJ Dink. Mm -hmm. We appreciate, man, you documenting your talent in history. Mm -hmm. I appreciate it. It took a while. Yeah, it took me a while it to come around the corner. You're busy. You're yeah, busy. Yeah, you're busy. Yeah. So I appreciate it, and mm -hmm. I appreciate the shout out. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah. All right, all right. We're live in the building. DJ's Entertainment, my boy DJ Vince. Check out all of the videos of other DJs on YouTube. That's right. Definitely, definitely check Vincent it out. Vincent Irving, a.k.a. DJ V.